Welcome to the LA Gospel Beat. I'm your host today, Pastor Charles Banks, and my guest is today is Alicia Corville. Welcome, Alicia. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, we are so glad to have uh, Alicia Cor Corville here uh, with us today. She's the Operation Manager for Always Connected. And so that today we're going to be talking about uh, Always Connected and Second Chance Job Fair and uh, things that's going on uh, with Always Connected. So that uh, just be, uh, we're going to take a pause there for a few minutes and talk to Miss Alicia Corville and hear from her uh, about the Second Chance Job Fair. Uh, if y'all do remember, the, we did put on a Second Chance Job Fair on October the 6th at the Martin Luther King Center, and Alicia was there uh, representing Always Connected. And Alicia, what did you see there uh, when you arrived at the Second Chance Job Fair? A lot of people, a lot of people ready to have jobs and ready to have a second chance to be in the job force. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it was a lot of people there. We had an estimate of about 900 uh, people showed up for the Second Chance Job Fair. And uh, uh, the Second Chance Job Fair is for uh, those that was in need of a job. And um, m me, as the Pastor Fellowship Full Gospel Ministry there, put on that job fair for the communities. And so that um, we're trying to make a difference in our community. And so uh, Always Connected was an employer there that came by and uh, set up and represented their business. And Alicia uh, is the operation manager for Always Connected. And that uh, they did uh, hire some people from the job fair. And, and just I'm going to kind of let, just hear from Alicia uh, about uh, the job fair and uh, Alicia that uh, when you when you when you saw the people there um, as they came by your table what was you hearing what was they saying to you oh they were asking different questions about what we um, what kind of job it was mm -hmm. what were they what qualifications it took and mm -hmm. like I explained to all of them just just the um, being able to learn sure. how to do a new job and that we were willing to teach. Okay, and that willing to teach. And so can you tell us a little about uh, your, uh, your company, uh, Always Connected? Uh, I know you're the operation manager, but can you just tell us uh, what y'all do and uh, 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 what kind of service y'all offer? We offer a wide variety of services. We, um, we take after hour calls for businesses that, that um, leave at five o'clock. We are able to dispatch our calls in several different ways. We also um, have a 24-hour service to be able to handle any calls while in anybody is out of the office. So uh, who, calls, uh, what, who calls do y'all handle? Like uh, is it nursing homes or hospitals? or What, what calls do y'all uh, take care of? We take care of um, monitoring alarms. We take care of um, like tow companies. You can do lawyers' offices, doctors' offices, wide variety. Anybody who needs a call center, we're, we're able to help them. Mm, okay, so that uh, they can go by and, and check, they can go and check it out, huh? Uh, at at y'all uh, website, uh, uh, on y'all website, always connected, huh? AlwaysConnectedUSA.com. Okay, very good. So well, that's good. That, that's great information there that uh, they can go and, and check it out. Uh, I, I know that you know we were talking about. Um, you you uh, being part of the uh, job fair, so that uh, was your was the company able to uh, hire any uh, anyone? Yes, we did give a couple of people jobs, and mm -hmm. they have done really well. Okay, really well. Very good. And so that how many applications uh, did y'all did you receive? You know, just kind of by email, or how many applications did you start off with, and how many people turned in applications? So that did you did you see a lot of uh, application being turned back in? Uh, there, there was more of uh, them going on the website and being able to, um, to apply for the job because within the first 30 minutes I ran out of um, paper applications, mm -hmm. which it was a lot of people there. So it was really uplifting to see that many people were ready to get into a job. Um, we've gotten probably close to about 100 Oh, wow. Between them turning in applications and also going to our website. Wow, so about 100 applications. And so how, how big is y'all company? Is it very big or small business? We're a small business. Okay. We're, we're, we're trying to grow. Okay, very good. And so that, uh, as you did hear, that uh, we have uh, Alicia Corville, Operation Manager for Stay Connected, uh, Always Connected. Uh, they was a uh, part of the Second Chance Job Fair that was held on October 6th at the Martin Luther King Center. Uh, here in the city of Lafayette, and that uh, Alicia came out and um, held, uh, put out. She was had a table there 
uh, and represented always connected there, and they hired some of uh, the job seekers that were looking for a job. And I just want to say thank you so much for coming out and being part of the Second Chance Job Fair. And, you know, people do need second chances. And uh, I know it's an opportunity for, to uh, get these job seekers back uh, working and taking care of their family. And so that if you never had a job or you had to go look for a job, you know, it's, it's tough. It is. You know, it's, it's tough. tough. And uh, I, I listened to you, you know, a while ago, and you said that, well, you know, you never had to go to a job fair. But you sit there and we looked at all those people that was in line. We're talking about 900 people. Yes. Walk through the door. A and, lot of and, and and you said that was your first time experiencing that, huh? That, well, that mass of people, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that mass of people, yes. And so we are going to continue to uh, do things in the community. Uh, we will be hosting another job fair uh, in about three about three to four months. Uh, and so that we're going to ask Always Connected, you know, to come back out and be part of the Second Chance Job Fair. And so I'm going to ask you, you know, that what what you do, what you think about um, people with second chances. I think it's awesome. Everybody deserves a second chance. Mm -hmm. I mean, not everybody's perfect. Sure. And so everybody, it's, everybody needs an opportunity to show that they're willing to, to take that step forward to be able to get back into that job. Sure. You know, I know that, you know, people do deserve second chances to get back uh, into the, the workforce, uh, to support their family. And so that, uh, yeah, people do de uh, deserve second chance. And, and I, I did listen to you. Uh, earlier before we went on set that you shared with me a testimony. You know, a testimony is always great in that it's no, it let me know right to hear that as we sit here today is that you have a heart for the people. Uh, you said that you, you hired an employer and the employer was wanting to quit. So I'm just going to kind of let you tell me what happened to the employer. I think you said the employer wanted to quit and that she wanted to walk out. And, and, what, and what, was your, what did you tell her? I told her if, if, if nobody else, if I wouldn't have get, get, been given this opportunity to do what I do now, you know, I wouldn't be anywhere. But thank God for the opportunity that I have. So mm -hmm. there's no reason for me to take her opportunity to be able to push forward within mm -hmm. our company. Sure. And we can work with her. Sure. So she won't just walk out because you have some family problems and you step to the plate. And willing to help. Willing to help. And you share with me, where do they do that at? I mean, that, you know, she stood to the plate. This lady was ready to walk out of, she had just hired her. She had just came in, and she was part of the job fair. And um, always connected, hired, there, hired her on to be an employer there. And the, young, and the lady uh, had some family issues. And we all have family issues and that, you know, just show you that people care about other people. And you step to the plate and you say, well, hey, Let's work it out, you know, and this lady had a dream, and so the, the dream has come true, you know. So I just, you know, encourage uh, the, the viewers to go and uh, check out Always Connected. There's the website there that you can go and check it out, you know, so that so come by and see what they got to offer you. I think they have a whole lot to offer you uh, a service in your community. Um, another thing that is going on that um, we, we are getting ready to do a Toys for Tots. Yes, sir. Toys for Tots. It, it's Christmas time, and... Uh, and a lot of people, a lot of families uh, don't have jobs, and this is the time of the year. Yes, sir. Uh, you, 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 if you ever been there, you know it's the time of the year when every ch every ch child wants a toy. Yes. Huh? Yes. And, and so that we, are, we are fellowship full gospel ministry uh, will be hosting a toys for tots, and and that um, you you have children. Yes, sir. And you have children, so you understand. Yes, sir. Uh, they, yes. When, when, when holiday come around, what they're looking for? Kids want to wake up Christmas morning <laughs> to presents. <laughs> yeah, they do want to wake out, wake up on uh, Christmas uh, morning, waiting, looking for toys, and so that uh, we will be hosting a toy drive. Uh, you can call me or come by Fellowship Full Gospel Ministry there at the Days in Conference Room there in Truman. Uh, we will be uh, doing Toys for Tots for the families in the community. So if you know someone, Alicia, that uh, may be needing uh, toys for the children, you can refer them to Fellowship Full Gospel Ministry. Uh, we will be um, every Wednesday, no, every Thursday, I'm sorry, every Thursday from 6 to 8, uh, we will be taking applications uh, or say, let's say signing up. The, uh, the people for um, Second Chance Job Fair. 
I mean, I said I can change jobs at four. The um, toy drive. Toys for tots. Yeah. To toys for tots. Yeah, toy, <laughs> uh, toys for tots. So that we uh, uh, want to make sure that everyone will, will come and be a part of this. It's going to be from 68 every Thursday. And there is a qualification that we, we did uh, um, connect with um, um, the Marine Corps. Uh, towards for talks and so we want to make sure that we follow the procedures and do things uh, right. Um, when you apply, you must provide ID, uh, must show uh, that you receive some kind of government assistance, and you want to make sure that uh, you, we we know your children. That you got to bring the uh, birth certificate or Social Security card. We don't want no Social Security numbers. You know, we just want to make sure that those are your children. And yes. so this is for the community. You know, people, will, uh, we will make sure that we, we serve the people in our community. Okay? So that you may know some families. Right, right. Huh? You, yes. you may know some families. And so that uh, you may know someone that may, to, may want to donate toys. So we are, we are um, uh, maybe someone out there may want to donate toys uh, to uh, Toys for Tots, if you you like to, uh, you can contact me. I'm Pastor Charles Banks. Uh, contact me at 337-344-9345, and we will sure be, uh, be glad to come by and pick the toys up, or you are more than welcome to drop them off on Thursdays, every, other, every Thursday from 6 to 8, okay? So that's some events coming up, uh, and so that I'm so glad, to, you know, that um, you have made a difference in some people's lives there. Well, with your job uh, always connected, and so that uh, I say to you that keep doing what you're doing. You know, God don't make no mistakes. You know, he, He's an on-time God, and I, I know that you you have you probably have a testimony of your own self that you, where you came from and look where God has brought you at today, and so that you're su successful, and so that um, I say to you today is though that keep striving. You know, keep striving, you know, you know, and keep doing what you're doing because that you never know who you make a difference in people's lives. You're Just right. like you made a difference in that lady life on uh, the other day when she ready to walk out. Uh, and so that I, someone gave me a second chance. My bosses, my bosses are the best. They're ever. the best? They're the best ever. Huh? Is they the they're, best? Yes, they're the best. <laughs> Don Corville and Jason Robichaux are the two that own this company. Mm -hmm. And they were my customers before mm -hmm. I came to work for them. Oh, wow. And they knew what a call center is supposed to be like. Mm -hmm. They weren't getting the services they wanted, so they decided to come out with their own call center. Wow. And I came on as the operations manager uh, with them to help build the company up mm -hmm. and help them to uh, program all the accounts. And from there, they have lifted everybody up. And then, can you stop right there? Yes. It's still in my head. You said they are the best. They are. How many times you see people say, "My boss the best," <laughs> and when you say something, "My boss the best," and you do it with pride and dignity, you know and that you know they they got to be the best. You know that for you to say they are the best, and it looks to me that you are happy. Very. You know, and that's what it's all about. That you know, I tell people, you know, that. Be happy in what you do, you know, because that if, if you're down and out, you, you, you're not going to produce. But when you're happy, the day go by fast, and I mean, man, you know, you you you, you look, you wake up in the morning ready to go to work, and so that I, I, it's, it's, I'm glad you said your bosses is the best, you know, and so that so so it seems to me that y'all has a great working relationship. Oh yes. Yes, they have, they, since I've, I've started working for them, my self-esteem has gone way up. Oh, wow. Compared to whenever I first started working with them. Oh, wow. And they're, they're really positive, and they, they push everybody to be positive. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you have to be positive mm -hmm. in, in what you do. And, and that sometimes you said that, you know, you had low self-esteem because no one didn't motivate us. You know, and sometimes right. we have to motivate ourselves, but then sometimes that we have to find someone that's going to would help us motivate us you know and yes. so that and now that you have been motivated by your boss and now you are motivating those that come in right yes sir so my thing is over there how many people do you see that come to your office just like this down in the dump mm, it's not not all the time okay. not every day is going to be a good day sure but as long as you can put a smile on their face that's what counts that's all what counts and so but you know but i'm going to kind of just listen to you know a little more about your your boss and you know i, I want to hear some more you know that you said my boss is the best so that maybe mm -hmm. one day i may be able to meet your boss you know and say yes, hey sir. uh I, i've heard some good things huh yes sir <laughs> all right all right <laughs> But both of them, they're, they're really great. I mean, they have several different businesses, and they allowed me to come on with them 
and help them to build this business and learn things that I never thought I would learn. Mm. And in a million years, I never thought I'd be where I'm at. But wow. they believed in me enough to where they put me where I'm at to be able to help each individual person that works with sure. us. And you know, it is, we need trust. Yes. You have to have trust in a working relationship. And so that I see that y'all have the trust there with one another and they thought enough of you, you know, to put you in position of where you're at. You know, that, you know, they worked at you, you know, you ran your own business, I think, right? No, I've never done it before. Okay, and, but you ran the business for them, mm -hmm. and they trusted you to run their business. And so look where you're at right now as operation manager, and so that, that's called trust. Yes, sir. You know, that someone have laid their business in your hands to be able to manage, an operation manager. I mean, that you're in control of everything. And so that has encouraged you today as though that just remember that, you know, God don't make no mistakes. You know, he, he said your gift will make room for you. Yes. Your gift, you know, your gift. When you know you're working in your gift, and mm -hmm. it's called a divine connection. And so to keep doing what you're doing, you know, continue to, to build the company for your for your uh, in, your boss name and keep on keeping that smile on your face, you know. <laughs> and so I tell uh, the, the listeners today that, Go and check out Always Connected. Uh, Always Connected is a local business here in the community that offers service, you know, so that if you need for them to monitor your church, uh, monitor your business, uh, they will um, talk with you about what you need and how to be part of this here. And so they don't pass this opportunity up so that um, I, I guarantee you that um, you won't be disappointed. Am I right, Alicia? You're right. All Very right. right. You know, and, and you heard her say that, hey, they take care of everybody so that if, you know, like events is coming up in your community, you can pass this event on to Always Connected and people can call Always Connected for a resource. Am I right? Yes, sir. And so, and y'all will uh, tell the people where the resource is available at? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. So do y'all get a lot of that? Uh, we haven't yet, but, I mean, we're, we're available to be able to do that. Okay. So how long how long that have y'all been uh, in business? We're in our second year of running. Second year of business. Okay. Second year of running, but I've been in this industry off and on for ten years. For ten years, you have, but yes, always sir. connected. It's been up running for two years. That it's on a second year. Of running. Second year. Okay, then, and so that it is a, a new business that some of uh, your listeners uh, might not uh, know who they are. Where are where are y'all located at? We're located downtown Lafayette. Okay. At uh, 425 West Vermilion. Okay, and and so what, what, there's a landmark, uh, there's a store somewhere that said uh, We're in the Bustani Law Firm building. Okay, Bustani? Mm hmm Okay, Law Firm building. Okay, so she did say where they're located at again. Can you tell us one more time? It's 425 West Vermilion. Okay, and so go by and uh, go and check it out and, and see what uh, what they have to offer uh, you and your business. Uh, and I guarantee you that uh, they will take care of you. And, and I'm so grateful to, uh, today is my first show of uh, L.A. Gospel uh, Heartbeat, and uh, I'm so grateful to uh, be your uh, host on today, uh, Pastor Charles Banks, and so that uh, you will be seeing more of me uh, in the near future. And so Alicia is my first host today, and so I am so grateful that you came and to be part of this show with me today to talk about the Second Chance Job Fair, uh, talk about um, the, uh, your, the business here, that you're the operation manager, is always connected, and the service and the service that you offer, and so that um, um, I, I, I'm, I'm just d delighted about it, you know. And you go back and just kind of look at uh, look at me that um, why um, we talk about the second chance job fair again. That the reason why I put that second chance job fair on because that uh, I, I'm an ex offender. I'm an ex offender, and so that you know it's very hard. For it's very hard to have a second chance. It's very hard to get a second chance and then use an ex-offender. And when you become an ex-offender, you know, people don't want to hire you because of your background. And that we have to go back and look that some young men and some young women may have got messed up when they was young. You know, when I was young, I did things when I was young coming up. And so I may have just messed up then. And so now it's on their record. And so that, you know, now they can't get the job that they, they dream job. People change. Yeah, people do change. People do you know, change. Yes, and you know, everybody's not the same. You know, just made some mistakes. And sure, I made some mistakes in my life, but the key was that I gave a second chance. And, and you go back and look, God give us chances every day. Yes, sir. We all them fell short. And so that I got the second chance, that, and, that, and that motivated me 
to do the second chance job there. And so that to see that these people need a job, and you know that if people don't have a job, what will they do? Right. Yeah, they go out and they do these things, and so that they go out and maybe on the street corner selling drugs or whatever they may be doing, but we well, we come out here and try to make a difference uh, with the employers that came out to the Second Chance Job Fair. And like I said, we're going to be doing it again in about four or five months. And so that we're going to try to get more employees there. We did have employers that cancer uh, on the day of the job fair. Yes, sir. And, and it kind of hurt it a little, uh, hurt it a little bit, you know, but I, I was so grateful for those that came uh, out and uh, was part of the job fair. And so that I, I know that we didn't have enough employers for the many amount of people that we had. We had, you know, we had some um, um, schools out there were offering, you know, education and college. And, you know, we, we had like 10, 10 uh, employers there, but we had 15 altogether. Okay. So that, you know, that we, we go back and we look at the things that we need to work on better, you know, and so that uh, get a more employers that hire ex-offenders. You know, the job fair was for everyone. Yes. You know, it, it was for everyone, but uh, we 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 was targeting ex offenders, so that uh, I look forward uh, as 2016 uh, uh, approaching us. Right. Uh, we, we will um, um, look for more employees as the new year get ready to come in. So yes, we get ready to close here. Uh, like I said, once again, we have uh, Alicia Corvia. She's the operation manager for Always Connected, and they offer service. Uh, uh, it's an answering service. Uh, here in the local community here, and that uh, they uh, go by and uh, go and check them out on the website at Always Connected there. So I encourage you to go by and check them out. And so once again, I am Pastor Charles Banks, the pastor of Fellowship Full Gospel Ministry here in the city of Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, if you ever need any assistance or if I can be any help, uh, you can contact me at 337-344-9345. And once again, uh, Alicia, thank you for having me. Thank you for uh, uh, hiring uh, those uh, employers that came out. You did hire some people from the job fair. And I want to say thank you for giving them another opportunity. Yeah, thank you for giving us the opportunity to be well, able to give them that. Well, you're more than welcome. And so that, you know, we, we hope to continue to work together. You know, yes, as, sir. as we uh, continue to work in this community, so that uh, I may be calling on you sometime and say, "Hey, uh, Alicia, do y'all have any spots open?" Uh, you know, and things like that. And so that uh, I, I have so many people calling me for jobs. Right. You know, and so that I, you may call me and say, "Hey, Pastor Banks, uh, I got a position open." You know, and so y'all go by and, and interview them. You know, and, and so and go from there. Yes, so, sir. So once again, Alicia, where's y'all located at? Four twenty-five West Vermilion. Downtown Lafayette. Downtown Lafayette. And if they need uh, information uh, from, uh, if they need information, what can they go and look at it at? They can go to um, alwaysconnectedusa.net or they can call at 337-314-9800 and ask for me so I can set up a, a time to go ahead and meet with them. Well, very good. And you will talk to them about everything about the, what y'all have to offer. Yes, sir. That is correct? Yes, sir. Once again, I am Pastor Charles E. Banks here at L.A. Gospel Beach. Uh, we're so glad to uh, be part of uh, this great community and be part of what's going on. And thank all you uh, viewers for being and watching this. Uh, this great, I said this great, this, this great interview with Alicia Corville with uh, Always Connected. And once again, I hope to see you again. May God bless you and may God keep you.